Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about the climate. And 1.5 degrees Celsius. And why that number matters. Because you're going to start hearing it a lot. Um, the newest information says that sometime between now and 2027, we will have a year where the average temperature, where we break that threshold, and we go over 1.5 degrees Celsius, warmer than pre-industrial levels. Um, right now, there is a 66% chance of that happening between now and 2027. So it is more likely than not. There is a 98% chance that within the next five years, the world will, will experience the hottest year on record, at least one of those years. Um, that there's a decent chance that we're going to have more than one. So, the crossing that threshold, and it is worth noting that by this information, at least right now, they think that it will be a temporary thing. We'll cross that for a year, and then it'll cool down a little bit. Um, but the reason that number is important is because right now we're at about 1.2. When we get to 1.5, things like wildfires, food shortages, droughts, heat waves, flooding in other places become more likely. Back in 2015, the international community set the goal of holding the climate at 1.5 degrees. Doesn't look like we're meeting those objectives. Doesn't look like we're doing too well on this front. This is a topic that needs to be a campaign issue in every election until we have things mitigated. We need much more aggressive action when it comes to transitioning away from dirty energy into cleaner energy to shortening our supply chains, to altering food consumption, all kinds of things, to getting ready for what at this point to me seems to be the inevitable future human migration that is going to occur. The United States has to get on the ball. And I know somebody's going to say, well, you know, China or India or some other country, they're not going to do their part. Well, then we have to do twice as much. It's not fair. This isn't about being fair. It's not a board game. If it was something that was going to be fair, the, uh, the impacts would be most heavily felt in industrial nations. But that's not what's going to happen. It's not fair. This is something that has to be done. The climate is not a car. When you slam on the brakes, it's not going to stop. The warming isn't going to stop. It's more like a semi-truck. It takes time. Time that we don't have. This needs to be a campaign issue constantly. We have to start working on this. Um, much more than we are now. And I know people don't want to hear that because... You know, we just made the largest investment in green energy, you know, ever. Yeah, that's not enough. It's not enough. The impacts from this, they're going to be severe. I mean, that much at this point is inevitable. We need to uh, begin a process of transitioning a whole lot of things in this country to make sure that all of those things that people talk about, them wanting to give their, their grandkids, are still possible. If you ignore this, if you wait until it becomes very apparent, it will be too late. This isn't a topic like a lot of political issues where people see it in front of them and then they start screaming at the government and in a year or two the government does something about it. 
right? That won't work. By the time you see it, it's too late. We, uh, we really need to get on the ball on this one. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.